Bear was totally normal, your typical child. Um, crawled at seven months, walked at 12 and a half months, about six or seven words by the time he was a year, was pointing and waving. And at 14 months, just regressed into his own little bubble. Day, like It's like he could see something in the distance and you, you couldn't reach him. And basically, that was the beginning of, the beginning of the end till we met Karen O'Connor. It was all negative, or else they just didn't know how to do speech and language with him. You were offering something that gave us a gradual step towards normality. The psychologist had um, given us the diagnosis and um, she had said she couldn't say where exactly on the spectrum Rosalie was because um, that's not done anymore because it's such a large spectrum and children can move up and down. So we started, I suppose, on a journey to address her issues with speech and language. Um, so we, we first uh, contacted a speech and language therapist, but I suppose we didn't see any major results. We noticed that, you know, words were very difficult for her to say. She couldn't actually physically get them out of her mouth. Um, understood everything, want, wants to communicate all the time, uh, but just simply cannot. Karen was the first person who saw Bruce and not four-year-old uh, autism diagnosis, sensory disorder, da 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 actually looked at him as a person, as a little boy that he was. It has just been phenomenal, the difference in six weeks. Mind-blowing stuff. Mind-blowing. Instantly, we, we realised that uh, this was making a big difference. And what, what I really see, and I think Karen saw it as well, was actually his personality coming out. Because he had been so lost and so clearly struggling, you know, and it breaks my heart, to actually, like, the fog lifting, you know, and things that I was teaching him, he was learning. Um, and bearing in mind, this is only two months. Karen's approach was, uh without doubt, different uh, than others. Karen looked at the whole picture of our child here. Uh, wasn't just your, t uh, your stereotypical speech therapy lessons here. We just liked the different jigsaw approach because it was looking at the overall child and developing the potential of, of the child overall and not just in one area, say speech and language. The programme has been so successful and the difference is amazing. The changes I saw when I did the LIFT programme with my child was that his fluency issues totally disappeared and he was able to be fluent and his stammer, I suppose in plain man's language, the stammer went. My child's life has changed. It's absolutely, it's like a miracle. I suppose our initial appointment when we met Karen, you know, we, we thought she'd say, well, you know, this will take a year, this might take two years, but you know, she did say that day, oh, this, this will be a matter of weeks and you'll see results. Did we believe her at the time? Probably not, but we were sorry that we didn't believe her because she was right. <laughs> so what I would really like to share with you over a series of videos that I have created and over my experience over the last 20 years is how to truly help your child achieve their greatest potential communication-wise, using the techniques that I've learned and using the approach that I have developed looking at the pieces of the jigsaw to help your child achieve their greatest potential. I look forward to sharing this information with you.